Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Another episode of Dan's Adventures Living Underground in Minecraft. I've decided in this episode that I'm going to go and explore the uh, abandoned mine shaft that I discovered uh, when trying to find my way back from the um, the third portal. So I've constructed the railway, found the minecart, and now let's head down into the mine shaft. And straight away, look at that, we've got a welcoming committee. <laughs> Get one out of the way, there you go. Right. I have a feeling that in the next few weeks these monsters aren't going to be anywhere near as easy to kill with the new um, artificial intelligence that's being currently worked on. Uh, right, so my plan of attack with an abandoned mine shaft is obviously throw as many torches down as possible. Then it's going to be try and cut out some of the wood or just mine some of the ores and make the area safe hmm, ok, reasonable ooh, I do like it when a mine shaft leads off into an unexplored cave that's quite a deep Quite a deep one there. I don't think anything's going to be uh, climbing up out of there to bother us, so we'll leave that for now. There are other areas that uh, are slightly more pressing of our attention. Like that spider. I had plenty of time to go for my sword. Why did I not do that? Egypt. Now as I'm watching this back, again, a few days after I've recorded it, I'm trying to think... I must have explored some of this off-camera because there's already some torches and stuff down here, plus a little direction marker. So I must have already explored that part of it. Because this little block of soil there, block of dirt with a torch on it, is a little marker pointing to the way out. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Could come in handy. Zombies. Not always very useful, zombies. Now then, I do tend to clear abandoned mine shafts because that way I know where I've been and where I've explored and where I've mined and I know not to 
go down that corridor again, basically. How he didn't get me, I will never know. Because I panicked there and I kind of ran towards him instead of away from him. Right, I can't pick up the gunpowder because I've got an inventory full of stuff, so what should I drop? What should I drop? That's alright, picked up the cobblestone now. Rails always very useful. I can hear some other footsteps, but I don't know where they're coming from. Some skeleton sounds from somewhere. place definitely looks a little bit more light and airy once you get rid of all these um, those shafts. again. As with the cave, I like to clear everything out of the mine shaft. Am I in some kind of twilight zone here? Because, I mean, there he is. There's the skeleton. I've, he's fired at me a couple of times. And I've completely ignored him. And then he was hiding behind a pillar. There we go. I don't know why I'm so fussed about collecting the wood, because I can always grow plenty of it in my tree farm. But hey ho, this is what we do. We mine because we're miners. interesting. It's also remarkably quiet. Come on, why is that pickaxe not destroying it? Come on! can't really get a cave spider with shears but you know that was that wasn't too bad considering it only unleashed one spider at me throughout all that time I was standing there can't really complain at that can we
not going to be a second one down here, is there? No, I think we're okay. A lot of gravel in this ca in this uh, abandoned mine shaft. I got no coal. Okay, so let's uh, head back see if we can find some coal somewhere, but. Uh, Stick in the already explored areas of the mine shaft. Melon seeds in that one and some gold, but I know. Let's just dump a whole lot of stuff into this. And then I can be a little bit more organised, can't I? Yay, I can make some torches. I'm sitting here recording this commentary. It's a Friday night. I've got a little bit of a cold, which I've had all week, and it's not gone away yet. And I'm just sipping some whiskey, which is rather nice. Those skeletons are awfully easy to kill in these in these mine shafts. They're not really posing very much of a challenge at all. But one thing that mine shafts do have going for them is that it's very, very easy to find the ores. They're very, very lucrative. Wow, that's a big drop. And a zombie ready to try and push me over the edge. Not today. Not today. Oh, hello. Not today for you either. Through those that ravine, or whatever it was I just found there, was very, very close to the entrance to the mine shaft where I've just come in. In fact, there's a whole tunnel down there that I had so far failed to even notice. Wow. Well, there you go. Anything could have been waiting down there just to come and get me as soon as I was, you know, on my way back to what I thought was safe territory. Right, now I've edited out maybe about an hour of me mining and uh, exploring this mine shaft, and now I've come across this little battle here between a zombie and a skeleton and a creeper who seemed intent on jumping down there for some reason. Right, we 
you can get out of the way for a start. And then you, yeah. Let's see if we can get on rid of this zombie. Sounds like there's more than one. They must have all injured each other. Because that was very easy to get. Come on, where are you? Oh, there's one, and there's a creeper behind the mine shaft over there as well. The pillar. Although, I don't think I spotted that creeper the first time round, otherwise I would have gone straight for it. Ah. Isn't it strange how sometimes you can just kill them straight away and other times they just explode in your face? If you'll pardon the expression. I do like it when I've got plenty of torches on me. Come on, come on, let's have a go. Yay. Stop hissing, you're dead. Ooh. Two for the price of one. This mine shaft goes on forever. This is about two and a half, at least, hours of gameplay that I've edited down into this um, this video. Right, I need to get down there. Another creeper. Two's lucky, three's a crowd. Two's company. What do you mean two's lucky? Right, now that wall behind me there looks like one that I'd built to mark off a section of the map. So let's just block that back up, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've got these little markers now pointing the way back out, so time to head home, store everything away, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.